On today's ear snack, deaths at Disney. The happiest place on earth? I think not. That story and more today on Two Murder Morons. This podcast includes graphic depictions of murders and murder scenes. This is a comedy-style true crime podcast. We do our best not to make fun of victims or victims' families. However, we do introduce comedy while telling graphic stories. If the mix of comedy and true crime is not your thing, this may not be the right podcast for you. Audience discretion is advised. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. My name is Andy. I'm Mike. <laughs> Why do you have that look on your I face? I don't know. Hey, it's, uh, it's just that kind of day. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, it feels like summer outside. That's true. It is very That's nice crazy. after being frozen. Yes. Yeah. Love the break. It is nice. Yep. Uh, well, welcome to Two Murder Morons. Yep. We'll welcome you back. We have another great episode for you today. Talking deaths in Disney. It's amazing. It is, man. I, and, you know, really, to be honest with you, like, yeah, there's been a lot of deaths. But yeah. if you look at, like, the pure number of people that visit Disney parks every year, like, True. it's such a minuscule number. Yeah, you're right. But still, when things go wrong, they seem to really go f***ing wrong there. And yeah, they keep they try to keep it quiet, too, I'm sure. Yes. 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 Nobody wants to know that, you know. See, when I think of Disney, I think at this time I went and uh, I felt like I was an ATM machine. <laughs> Absolutely. A walking ATM machine that it's was ex- dead by the end of the day. <laughs> it's expensive. Yes. It's very expensive. Ugh. God, even when you do a package. But worth it. It, it well, is. The kids had a great time. Well, let's put this in perspective a little bit. I am a I am a Disney freak. You are freak. a Disney freak. I know. Um, I grew up, like, that was our summer vacation yeah. every year. So I grew up with it. I love that place. I still go as, as an adult yeah. without kids. Yeah. You know, like, I still have a blast. Expensive as fuck still. True. But a good time, you know. I think Universal's moving in on them a little bit for the uh, the adult. The adult side, Cause, yeah. Because I kind of prefer – God, I hate to say it. Here come the comments. Uh-oh. But uh, if it's just me, you know, or just adults going, like I prefer Universal. I get it. Just because there's more – More to do. For adults. For an adult. I yeah. mean, don't get me wrong. I'll still get on Small World. Yeah. You know, and, I'll pop yeah. on Dumbo. And cry. Yeah, and, I know. Or, yeah, the cars, and I'll cry. Yeah, yeah, cry. <laughs> yeah. or you'll look like that. <laughs> yeah, that's where that picture's yeah. from. There you go. So uh, we like to give credit where credit is due, of course, as of always. Of course. Um, because we did not write this. Um, this is from a found article, you know, that we thought was very interesting. Uh, you're never going to believe who wrote this article, but <laughs> this is Disney deaths updated for 2023. So we're... Covering almost Cover, everything yeah. except the last it's couple covered. months. Um, and it's an article written by The Dam Firm, which is a personal injury lawyer's office in Central Florida. <laughs> Amazing. So they keep real good track. Yes, they do. Of what's yes, going on do. at Disney, because I'm sure they might be involved in some of yeah, these probably lawsuits money, and probably stuff. A little bit of dollars off them. So uh, in total, up until now, now let's let's put a little bit more perspective on this. So okay. you've got Disney parks, right? The Correct. original Disneyland, Anaheim, California. Yep. Then we get Disney world in Florida. Correct. And since then we've got Disneyland, Paris, we've got Hong Kong, we've got Japan. Shanghai, yeah, yeah. right? No, we don't have, yeah, we have Tokyo. Yes. We have, do we have Shanghai and Hong Kong? Or are those the same? I, I sound like a, not a Disney person right now. Yeah, no, it might be the same. I don't know. I don't know. I need to pull out a globe. Yeah. God. We could go we're morons. Yeah, we're morons. It says <laughs> it on the. It says it right there. <laughs> it's the title of the yeah, show. There you go. So, this this first part we're going to talk about is just the U.S. at Disney parks. Okay. So Disneyland and Disney World. Okay. So in total, there have been ninety three fatalities caused by ninety separate incidents in the U.S. at Disney parks. It's not bad for you to consider how long it's been around. Right. And that's what I'm saying. Like, think of the millions of people that go every year to only have 93. Not that I'm downplaying anybody's death. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying, percentage-wise, it could be a lot worse. Yeah. I mean, I'm, 
it'd be interesting to see like what other amusement parks numbers are like. And they haven't been around that long. Right. Like we were talking on another bonus episode yeah, or something about like Six, like six Flags, Flags or, you know, Kings <laughs> Island. I don't know. Probably get sued. But I, I've i been to a couple Six Flags and I just remember, and it's probably my fault because I'm a Disney freak and I'm used to that level of yeah. theming and stuff. But I just remember being like, it's like a, it's like a carnival. Like, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's just, uh, yeah, it's there. I mean, Disney's like, you know. Cream of the crop. Yeah. They're more, they're a, th- a true theme park. Correct. Like I get Six Flags has zones where like you might be themed a Western or something. Well, they, you know, they built that one out by Williamsburg. <laughs> it has nothing to do with Williamsburg, but you know, there it is. <laughs> there it is. I it's guess, Six Flags. Uh, I guess in 1700, they had a version of Six Flags. I don't know. So let's break down causes of death. Okay. Okay. So here's a breakdown for the 90 reported fatalities. Natural causes. Okay. That includes fatalities from pre-existing conditions, both known and unknown. Okay. Okay. Deaths from natural causes make up 24% of fatalities at okay. Disney, which I thought that would be a lot higher. Because think, okay, when you, when you tell somebody there's been 94 deaths, people I think automatically go, Oh, well, probably 80-some of those are people having a heart attack on a ride or something. Yeah, mom and dad, grandpa, grandma. Exactly. Heat stroke. Heat stroke. You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. 24%, though. That's a a four. That means three-fourths of these suckers are something else. Accident, Mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, natural cause, so. Suicides account for 14%. Suicides? Suicides, 14%. So people go to Disney and commit suicide? Apparently they do. Apparently they do. Why would you go to Disney to commit suicide? That's expensive. I don't know. There's a lot of stress. I got to admit, when you go there as a parent and you have your kids with you, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of pressure. Oh, yeah. You've paid a lot of money. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure there are a lot of domestics that happen at the hotels there with people fight. They're they're tired from walking around in the heat. They're exhausted. They've spent their life savings. Their kids screaming because you wouldn't, they wouldn't, you know, go on the carousel with them. And their parents, are, God damn it, you know how much I paid? You know, everyone's all pissed off. I can see it, you know. I, I can't see the suicides. I don't know. It just, I just, try, it just to me, that's weird. Now I can see the domestics. Oh, yeah. I should have looked, though. I didn't even think but to I, look up those. Yeah, I, I don't, I just, suicide just seems weird to me. So the, so natural causes accounts for 20, uh, 22 of okay. the incidents. Okay. Okay. Suicide accounts for 13 of okay. those incidents. Drowning, 10 incidents. Because they got the water parks now. Mm-hmm. Falls, nine. Okay. Crushing, five. Head injury, five. Okay. Blunt force trauma, five. Okay. Plane accidents, four. Plane accidents? We'll get into, Yeah. Okay. Yeah, plane accident. I know it sounds great. Where the f- yeah, yeah, plane accidents. Okay. Ran over or dragged by a ride. Three. Just three. Just three. Which I thought that would have been a lot. Find more. that a little norm. Not, not, not well. Okay. There's some numbers that have been left out. Yeah, like I was kind of expecting that to be like the big one. Yeah. You know. Um, unknown. There's three. Um, hit by vehicle. There's two. Vehicle accident, there's two. Alligator attack, there's one. Yep. That was a story that happened not too long ago. Yep. Um, you're gonna, I'm not going to be able to say this word. So it's a amoebic meningeoncephalitis. Okay. Which I know the story behind that one has to do with river country. Correct. And there was the amoeba. The amoeba and everyone, in the water, yeah. They called it like the brain-eating amoeba or it whatever. Gets inside your ear or whatever, yeah. Yeah. That's, actually, um, that's still around. One death by boat accident, one brain hemorrhage, one decapitation, Ooh. one explosion, one pulmonary embolism, which I don't know why that doesn't fall under natural causes. Yeah, say, well, yeah. One shooting, one stabbing. One shooting? And one septic shock. Septic shock. Now, that's, that's... I will say that later, and I'll explain why. This is for both Disneyland and Disney World. Okay. When we get into specifics, we're just going to do Florida because there are so many. We'd be here for four. This would be a four-hour episode. Yeah, yeah. So 
I'm saving Disneyland. That's where the shooting happened. It was kind of a gang thing in the parking lot. Oh, okay. Um, so we won't get into the shooting or the stabbing because those are both in California. Okay. Of course. Yeah, of course. Um, so um, Disney victim demographics. Okay. Age. Well, what would your what your guess be like ages? Are we talking a bunch of kids dying? Are we talking more adults than kids? What do you think? I think we got more adults than kids. Okay. So children under the age of 10 account for 15.5% of those deaths. Okay. Tweens and teens, so we're talking 11 to 18, it's 15 and a half percent. Adults 19 to 64, 43 and a third percent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's where your natural causes come in. Well, to 64, then you got seniors, 65 plus are only 11%. That's kind of, I thought that'd be a bigger number with the natural causes. Yeah, but a lot, I mean... <sighs> I mean, if you're 80, you're not going to you're not going to King's Island, or you're not going to Disney World or Walt Disney. Or I mean, not, true. You know, when you're not, if you are, you're not getting on the big rides. Yeah, yeah, anything. yeah. You're sitting over there on Tuck Finn Island or something. You're bench warming. Yeah, yeah. So I would think of like uh, if you want to consider like the senior citizens would be like 60 to 70 range, probably. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Then unknown, 14.4%. So, I'd like to know what the unknown is. Right. Um, if they could come up with a name, or they just didn't want to come up with a name. I, yeah, I don't like, know. Like, killed, killed by employee. I was going to say where they didn't keep track of it, but how do you not keep track of a death? You think somewhere. Yeah, you have to somewhere. I don't know. I mean, it's, I don't so know. The, here's a fun little graphic. This is also from that damnfirm.com article. So this is just the breakdown of park employees versus guests. Okay. So I kind of thought it'd be more even because I can see a lot more employees getting in, you know, because you got mechanics working on stuff, could get crushed by something. But only 21% were employees. The other 79% were, were guests. guests. Yeah. Well, you got the, well, you got the so you've got all the resorts, you've got all those hotels now. True. You did, years ago, they didn't have that. Yeah. So now you got you got what uh, Hard Rock's got one or whatever they got the guitar place. I think that's Universal. Is that Universal? Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I want to say there's like I should have gotten this number. I feel like there's like twenty Disney resorts. There's got to be quite a few. I mean, there's a ton yeah. of hotel rooms down there. Yeah. Yeah. Because we stayed in one. Yeah, they're I can't nice. Which one it was? But we're actually, you know, not to not to brag or anything. But we're Disney Vacation Club members. So, oh wow! You know what's that get you? It, it's actually pretty cool, man. It's like it's like kind of like a timeshare okay. type deal, and you get you know you buy so many points mm -hmm. to use per year, and with the points we have, we can get a really decent condo on Disney property that you know has a kitchen and multiple yeah. bedrooms and stuff for like a week. The, the elves are back. That beep again. I don't know. I hope it's not something. Yeah. No shit. Diabolical. Yeah. I hope not. So me like. <laughs> Filter my ear. Electronic amoeba. Here's another interesting graphic here. This is just the the timeline of Disney fatalities. So you see there in nineteen fifty five, that's when Disneyland opens. They don't have their first death until sixty four. Which I find that amazing because you would think because that was a big swamp. Mm -hmm. You would have think figured somebody would have got like, you know, I mean, there's alligators. Well, this is Disneyland. This is Florida. Florida opens, or I'm sorry, California opens California in 55. Oh, okay. Yeah, Disneyland opens in 55. It opens first in 89. That's right, yeah. So they got their first uh, three deaths there in the 60s. And then we make it to 1971. That's when Disney World, which is in Florida, Florida. they open. They make it only two years. Um, I'm sorry, three years before their death. So as you look at that, the kind of orange circles, that's Disneyland deaths. Okay. The yellow circles are Disney World, Florida yeah. deaths. And they're just kind of broken them down there into how many each park had over like, the course of those years. It's like 82 was bad, and then it kind of tapered off, and then 2005, 2006. Yeah, like what happened in the mid-2000s? I don't know. Well, kids got stupid. Well, and then another big bump in like 2015, 16. Yeah. Rises back up. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. It's weird. Here's another graphic here. That is the lawsuit status of oh. fatal incidents. So this actually shocked me. 65% no lawsuit was filed. Now, I could see the the naturals. Yeah, the I mean, naturals. Not really anything to sue for there. Right. 
you know. But sixty five percent. I mean, that's a that's a big number not to file a lawsuit. I would think the number of lawsuits would be more than the sixty five range. Then that fourteen percent is a lawsuit filed and Disney settled. Six percent of the cases OSHA fined Disney, which is ridiculous. We're gonna when we get into specific cases, I'm gonna tell you what some of the OSHA fines were, and it's like, really. Yeah. What's well, that? What did that do? Yeah. Ooh, Fifteen hundred dollars for Disney? Cool. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. That really, really hurt them. Really hurt them and got yeah. them to change some hey, things. Get three more people in that gate. Five <laughs> percent. Um, we got lawsuit filed, but unsuccessful, and uh, lawsuit filed against a third party. Oh. So. Okay. For those of you watching, there is that graphic again. If you want to take a closer look. Kind of crazy. Sixty-five percent. Wow. Yeah. So let's move to Disney World. So now I know you were confused. Yeah. <laughs> That's partly my fault. It happens. Uh, but uh, there he is. There he is. There's Walt, Walt. and Mickey, Mickey. himself. Um, but we're going to focus on Disney World, like I said, because they're just, you saw on the screen, there's so many to yeah. go through of them and, and give halfway decent information. Yeah. It would suck. And Florida seems to be more of the one that people, I don't know, seems to be more of the one to go to. Yeah. So, um, just a little background from the article. Disney World in Orlando, Florida, opened 16 years after Disneyland in California. It boasts multiple resorts, water parks, and theme parks, including Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, and Disney's Hollywood Studios. Walt Disney would have, was a part of the park's development, but died during the planning phase. As of 2018, Disney World was the most visited vacation resort in the world. Wow. So how many people do you think out of those 94 total have died at Disney World. Out of that total? Like nine, there were 94 in all the U.S. parks. So now we're just, we split that, and now we're just talking about Florida. So how many died in Florida? I go with about 60. Dang, you are at 64. Wow. 64 people have died at Disney World. Okay. From 61 reported incidents as of August 1st, 2023. Okay. I figured that would have to be a little bit on the higher end. Yeah. For some, yeah. Well, and it's a bigger, you know, Disneyland, you've got Disneyland mm -hmm. and Disney's California Adventure. So two, two theme parks. You've got the downtown Disney district, and I think three hotels is what they own there. Yeah. You know, Florida, you got four theme parks. You yep. got two water parks. You got downtown Disney. You've got 20 some odd hotel resorts. properties and yeah, resorts. resorts. I mean, it's a much, I mean, what, two or three world-class golf courses. Yeah. I mean, there's. Campgrounds. It's. Yeah, it's so much bigger than California. Yeah. So what I've done here is I kind of broke these down into different areas. So let's start off with resorts. Okay. Okay. So July 26, 2023. So this is recent. Disney's Contemporary Resort near the Magic Kingdom. That's the one you can see on your screen there. The monorail runs through. I've stayed there. It's very nice. A uh, 39-year-old man was found dead after ha he accidentally fell from his hotel room balcony. So this this would be a an accidental. Yeah. No lawsuit filed. All right. Moving on to the Caribbean Beach Resort. Must have been drinking. He could have been. Probably. Or, or it could have just been an honest oops, you know. How do you – oops. I mean, come, we've all been mess. – I've been messing around on a hotel balcony before and been like, oh, that could have been bad, you know, and I wasn't drunk or anything. <laughs> look on your face. around. Okay, whatever. Oh, you know, yeah, horse yeah. playing, whatever. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. You know, maybe okay. doing some other things. Mm, whatever. Mm, my time. Mm. Uh, December 18th, 2020, Caribbean Beach Resort. A uh, 43-year-old woman fell and hit her head. She died four days later in a hospital from blunt force trauma. Um, a lawsuit was filed in June of 22, and as of September of 22, Disney has denied liability and moved to dismiss the lawsuit on the grounds of lack of information. Okay. I wonder how she fell. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if she just Seriously. tripped on a sidewalk and fell. I don't think it was a fall fall like the first. Guy. Okay. Now we're moving on to JW Marriott uh, Bonnet Creek Hotel. This happened August 29th, 2018. This is another fall. Two workers on the side of a hotel that was under construction fell to their death when scaffolding around the building collapsed. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lawsuit was filed against two construction contracting companies, PCL Construction Services and Universal Engineering Services. Which okay. I don't think has any connection with Universal Studios. I think it's just a yeah. quinky dink. Hmm. That uh, sucks. Yeah. 
Yeah. July 9th, 2018. A 33-year-old cast member died in an industrial accident near the resorts. A Toro utility cart crushed the employee, causing him to fall unconscious. Workers were unable to lift the cart along with officials and pronounced him dead at the scene. So OSHA ruled that Disney's not at fault. Oh, okay. So no fine. The victim's wife filed a wrongful death lawsuit for more than 15000 I think you would go for more than 15000 Yeah, yeah. I mean, geez, emotional support would be out off the chart. Alone, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, but she filed it against the manufacturers, distributors, and sellers of the cart vehicle that fell on her husband, Toro Company, and Westco Turf. Okay. But the status of their case is unknown. Disney admitted that employees are not required to read the manufacturer's manual for equipment. Okay. So, so you've got heavy machinery and you yeah, don't require yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't read that. You don't need a license for that. Just hey, just go operate it. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to water parks. Okay. Now, surprisingly, yeah. there's only one incident at one water park. Really? This is I, mean, I don't know. Kind of crazy, right? Hmm. Um, so this happened at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon, which is pictured there. Also been, been there. Been there. It's, it's nice. Mm-hmm. It's very tropical and yeah, it's a good time. I like the wave pool. So a 12 year old girl felt ill while using the wave pool. Lifeguards talked with her and after noticing her lying down on the side of the pool, um, and, but she told them that she felt fine. She passed out shortly after that. Lifeguards performed CPR on her until paramedics arrived, but she was pronounced dead shortly after arriving at Celebration Hospital. The autopsy showed that she died due to arrhythmia caused by an early stage viral heart infection. Oh, man. So this falls under natural death. Natural death, yeah. Um, and no lawsuit was filed. That's, that's sad. But a 12 year old man, like, have a viral heart infection? Yeah. 12? Mm. Those I feel sorry. Those, ugh. Oh, yeah. The kid, I can't do the kids. Yeah. I can't do the kids stuff. All right, let's move to Animal Kingdom. You ever been to Animal Kingdom? Yep. That's a good time. Yep. It's a big entry. It's, yeah. It's got the damn ants in it. Yep. Um, Primeval Whirl. You remember Primeval Whirl? Yeah. In the dinosaur section? Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, how do we describe this? It's one of those wild mouse roller coasters. Yeah. And then the cart spins, spins. as you're going down the track. Makes me want to barf. Pretty much every time. Yeah. So a 52-year-old employee sustained head injuries while working on the ride and was airlifted to a hospital where he later died. The ride was undergoing maintenance and was closed to the public at the time of the incident. Um, so basically he's working, he's, you know, behind the scenes there working on track or something and the cars are moving and he gets smacked in the head and it kills wow. him. Um, OSHA fined Disney $69,000 for safety violations. From this one. Which is a drop in the bucket. Part of this was for a repeat citation. Since Disney had no guardrails where the victim was working and had faced similar citations in the past. Oh. 69,000. Again, nothing. Yeah. Dropping the hat to them. Yeah. Just uh... One of my favorite rides. Expedition Everest. Okay. Legend of the Forbidden Mountain. Wow. With the Yeti. That we now call Disco Yeti. Oh, really? Okay. People comment below if you know what I mean by Disco Yeti. Oh. Should I explain Disco Yeti? Yeah, I think you should. So you brought it up. Okay, I should. You're right. People are either like, what the hell is he talking about? <clears throat> so if you don't know what Expedition Everest is, um, it's a roller coaster. This is a giant fake mountain, yep. fake Everest. So this roller coaster goes in and around. And the climax of this is you come face to face with what was at the time the world's largest and smoothest animatronic character yeah. ever created. I mean, this thing is... I should have looked up stat. I mean, I think he's 30 or 40 feet tall. I mean, it's a giant it's huge, yeah. Yeti, and he, he'd reach out and grab you or grab at you as, grab your, at you as your train went by. Well, the problem is somebody miscalculated the forces that the movement of this thing would cause on the foundation, and the foundation under him cracked. Oh. So the second problem is, is they can't fix him because he's too, you know, they kind of built this mountain mm-hmm. around this thing. Yeah, yeah. So... And the other problem that I've heard is that the foundation is also worked in with the foundation for the coaster and the mountain. So the only way to get this thing out of there or get a new thing in there is to tear down the whole thing, which they're not going to do. They're not going to do that. So basically, when you ride it now, 
they he's he's just kind of got his arm out there. He's got his arm out. He's frozen, and a, a strobe light comes on. So as you go by, you know, strobe lights kind of simulate like movement. Yeah. And I think there's a fan blowing on him. So his hair is kind of, so it kind of gives you, but he's fucking fro. He's, he's frozen there. Yeah. So everybody, like that's the name now is Disco Yeti because of the lights. Oh, okay. It's like you're going through. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So December 18, 2007, 44 year old man lost consciousness while riding the coaster. He was given CPR in the ride's loading platform and was pronounced dead at the hospital. The autopsy concluded that the victim died of dilated cardiomyopathy and the death was considered natural. So therefore, no lawsuit filed. Okay. Now we're heading back to primeval whirl again. 63-year-old employee in 2007 died from a brain injury. Hmm. Sustained four days earlier when she was hit by a ride vehicle after falling from a restricted area on a ride platform. So she falls... From this platform and gets hit by a damn ride vehicle, a roller coaster, basically, yeah, yeah. in the head. Um, OSHA, find Walt Disney World, 25500 and charge them with five safety violations. Oh. The fines were 15000 for three serious violations, 7500 for still missing, a, still missing a handrail that had been reported from the previous incidents, and 3000 for not responding to OSHA requests within the requested time period. Oh, okay. So it kind of seems like in this situation, it's like it gives the impression that Disney does not take the OSHA stuff serious. You know right, what I mean? Yeah. I mean, in that instance, when they something's already happened and they find you and they say, <coughs> well, you need a guardrail or, you you know, and then you just don't do it and you don't respond to it and then somebody else dies, like. Yeah, like these small construction companies, man, they get hammered and they, they actually listen. You right. know what I'm saying? But, right, because they don't want to get shut down. Yeah. But they're not also a multi-billion yeah, well, dollar. Who's going to shut them down? Right. It feels like it'd take like an act of Congress. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. I don't know. Uh, moving on to Dinosaur. Do you know Ooh. this ride? It's the one, it's an indoor dark ride. Okay. And you get yeah. in the Jeep mm-hmm. and you go back in time. Okay. April 30th, 2005. 30-year-old man lost consciousness shortly after exiting the ride and died from a heart attack moments later. Wow. He had an artificial pacemaker. It's 30? 30. Wow. So. Man. Of course, ruled natural causes, mm-hmm. therefore, no lawsuit. Wow, 30 with a pacemaker. That's crazy. I know. Must have had the heart defect early in life. Yeah. I can't imagine. I'm grateful to be, yeah, yeah. for the most part, healthy and, you yeah. know. I can't imagine having to go through no. kind of stuff like that. Mm-hmm. All right, going back to the Disney des- resorts here. here I kind of split them into two sections so it didn't seem like we were talking about them for an hour. Um, this one, obviously, we talked. This is Disney's Grand Floridian. Yep. Uh, that's probably one of their nicest hotels. I've stayed there once in, I think, their smallest room available just because it's so damn expensive. Um but this is where on June 14th, 2016, a two-year-old boy was attacked by an alligator at 9.15 p.m. on the shore of the Seven Seas Lagoon. His parents unsuccessfully tried to intervene, and the boy was pulled into the water. His body was found the following afternoon in the vicinity of where he went missing in about six feet of water. So this beach area here had a live gator. It is kind of what that, but it's, uh, it's Florida, man. Yeah. I mean, you, it, you can do about it. Like, look at, you can just see all the waterways and stuff oh, yeah. that they've got to, yeah. you know, build in there. Yeah. You have something you can do about it. Yeah. And, and from the stories I've read, basically what, what gators do, um, you know, when they snatch prey, they, they're, they don't eat the whole thing at once. Mm-mm. I mean, that's like us catching a, a cow and, trying to yeah, eat the they whole store bit. it they store it so they they take it down they tuck it under a log or something yeah, they that's take on it the down and they, they thrash it till it dies right and Turn, then whatever drown it whatever they're not gonna you know consume yeah. they tuck under you know to save it for later basically and yeah. and from the accounts that i read is basically they found him tucked under like a submerged log there um yep. so the cause of death was ruled as drowning and traumatic injuries from an alligator attack um there was no public lawsuit. Oh, I bet they got some money. However, many suspe- suspect that Disney settled outside of court because the family opened up a probate. Oh, yeah. And, you know, those are usually part of that is you sign that, mm-hmm. you know, that you won't talk about it. But 
this is one of those. I guarantee you, Disney pay that family some money. Oh yeah, they I had, mean, oh yeah, they you can, I, because the only other the only alternative is is to is to fight the Disney to fight it in court and use the excuse that you know it's nature and it's not really. You know what I mean? It's out of their control to an extent, but that just would make them look like such it, ass. But because consider, I mean, you got what you got? You got boats out there. It's a beach. Well, yeah. Here's the other issue too. Now it's a little bit. If you go there today, it's a little different. They have um, almost like a state park kind of fence. Oh, okay. And there's signs, signs every everywhere. ten feet with a picture of a snake and an alligator that says, "This is Florida water. Don't go." But the issue here is, is that they built. They built a fucking beach. Yeah, with no signs. So if you're not from Florida and you don't know about yeah. where gators are and stuff, you're on vacation. Yeah. Hey, a fucking beach. Let's yeah. go put our swim trunks on. Yeah, let's go swim. And we're going to, you know what I mean? So like, I, I, I don't fault the kid or the family no. at all. Like, uh -uh. I can totally see. Well, and, you know, you would think, well, or Disney World, I mean, they obviously got to check for these things. I'm sure it's. You know what I mean? I'm sure oh, they yeah. keep them out of, their, out of this area. Yeah. Oh, they have. So they're, even before this Which happened, I know they do. Yeah. And you can't control it. Right. But you would think if you're, most people, you know, if you see this, well, obviously they got it under control. They got a beach. Right. I, and, you know, I will give, you know, before this ever happened, you know, there is like an alligator abatement team because they know, and, yeah. and I think that's part of the problem with this. They know there's a problem. You know, it's Florida. There's gators. Mm -hmm. So, are there a team of people going around capturing and re-releasing elsewhere gators? Absolutely. Oh, sure there is, yeah. But that just adds into that you knew. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like Disney can say, well, yeah, it's Florida, but we didn't think there would be. Well, if you got a team out there catching these things because you want them away from the guests, yeah. you know they're there. So why do you have a damn beach yeah. where people can get in the water with them? Exactly. Like, I... Total, and you know, before this happened, you know, as a kid, I don't, I don't think I've ever swam in that water at all. But like, even into my adult life, until this happened, I've, I've seen that beach before. You know, there are other resorts around there that have similar setups. I've never once thought, why is there a beach? There's gators yeah. in Florida. Like it didn't even, and I know there's gators. I have seen on a pontoon boat you know we'd rent a pontoon boat mm -hmm. and tool around you you've seen a couple here and there yeah but for some reason when you're in the magic of your vacation and you see you like i've never even thought exactly i can't believe people are down there by the beach because there's gotta be gators in there mm -hmm. no one ever thinks of that yeah nope crazy well because your whole thought would be well if there's gators here they wouldn't have a beach right yeah. exactly yeah exactly Hey everybody, please pardon the interruption while I take a moment to talk about Trailblazer Threads. Now this is a company that my girlfriend and I started. It's outdoor apparel for RVers, hikers, fishermen, anybody who loves the outdoors. So if you're in the market for a t-shirt or a hoodie to wear on your next adventure, give us a try. Trailblazerthreads.com. Get 10% off with promo code 2MM10. Again, that's trailblazerthreads.com. All right, moving on. Disney's Art of Animation Resort. This oh, is one okay. of their value resorts. A uh, three-year-old child was found at the bottom of the resort pool after becoming separated from his parents. Okay. Child was later pronounced dead at a nearby hospital. So uh, this was July 14th, 2015. It's kind of mom and dad. Yeah. Uh, although, uh, you know, it's hectic. There's a lot of kids running around. There's a lot of families. There are. I, I can see your kid getting away from you. Yeah. You know. But still. Uh, now, different story if it's like, He's missing from the hotel room for three hours and no one's looking for yeah. him. But we don't know that that is the situation true, whatsoever. True. Yeah. But you can't really sue Disney for this one. Right. And they there was no lawsuit okay. filed. Was There's no say, lawsuit. Phew, yeah. It was your... ruled a drowning, but lawsuit none. Yeah. All right. Disney's Pop Century Resort. It's kind of a mirror of the mm -hmm. last one. Uh, March 12, 2013. We have another drowning. A uh, 13-year-old boy drowned at the Hippy Dippy Pool in the resort. He was swimming with some other guests, and there were no lifeguards on duty at the time. The boy drowned in the four-foot-deep section of the pool and was pulled from the water by a paramedic who tried to revive him by performing CPR, but he later died at the hospital. Um, again, this is ruled a drowning, and no lawsuit is filed. Disney's Port Orleans Resort, which... We've stayed there. Have you stayed there? Yes. We stayed there. I love that place. Yeah. There's something about, like... <laughs> Can you get in the car? I hate New Orleans. 
I hate it. I've went one time for a, a convention thing yeah. when I was doing the haunted house thing. Mm-hmm. It was like a horror haunted house owners convention and um, went there for that. And I was really impressed with the convention center and like this, that immediate area right there. But like when we ventured out of there, it was like, what? The oh, f- yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. it just kind of smelled and like people are peeing in the street. And oh, yeah. Like you think you're in Seattle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a fan and this is where everyone that's from new orleans that listened to us is no longer listening to us um so anyway port orleans resort um this is a death uh hit by vehicle so a 69 year old man died after stepping in front of a moving disney bus so the resorts all have these buses that transport you yeah, to the you yeah. know um but yeah in the parking lot there at port orleans this guy stepped out in front of the bus i got got struck and was killed by the bus. Yeah, that would probably do it. Um, no lawsuit was filed, they think, because the victim was not in a crosswalk. So the bus technically, I there guess, under whatever Florida law is, had the right of way. Yeah. So it might be the same here, technically. That's true. That's true. Uh, Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Um, I can't wait to see. I'm stay surprised here. there's not a bunch in there. You would, I, w- I thought there was going to be more. I would fear that would know. be the heavy one. Yeah. It's, it's not, I mean, everything's kind of got equal. Okay. Digs here. Um, so January 10th, 2010, nine-year-old boy was crushed to death by a Disney bus uh, while riding his bicycle with another child. The victim appeared to turn his bike into the road and ran into the side of the bus, subsequently being dragged under the bus's right rear tire. A preliminary report stated that the bus driver who, was, who had 30 years of experience with Disney was not impaired or driving recklessly. Good. Um, so there was a lawsuit filed. The victim's mother sued Disney. Here's another low, $15,106. There's got to be something with that, with the low. Cause I like, I, I start to read that and I'm expecting to see 1.5 million. Well, cause they probably know they're not going to get it. Oh, maybe they figure be. if they do, if they lowball it, they got a better chance to win it. Maybe that, that could be, I don't know. Um, but they settled out of court for an undisclosed amount. So I'm assuming less than yeah fifteen thousand. Uh, Disney's Contemporary Resort. We're heading back to that one. This is another fall. An off-duty cast member fell off the ledge outside the Top of the World restaurant on the Contemporary Resort's fifteenth floor. He was sitting on the ledge when a swarm of wasps appeared, and when he tried to swat them away, he lost his balance, falling eleven stories. Holy! Shit. I've been to this re- like it's. It's on top of that building, yeah. and it, it's great for, like, fireworks. You can go up there and stand on – you're on the roof, basically. you got a great view of the Magic Kingdom fireworks and oh, stuff. yeah, I bet. But, like, what a crazy tw- – so you're you're sitting on the ledge, which that's Stupid. never a good way to start. Yeah. And then, like, randomly this swarm of wasps appears, and you're trying to swat them, and you fall. Like, that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Can't imagine. No, falling and drowning and a fire, those are my three worst. Oh yeah. Anything that takes time. Yes. Like I'm not I'm not scared of being shot, like oh. especially being shot like in the head, because yeah. that's gonna be instant. You don't even probably know what f- can happen to you. Yeah. But yeah, drowning, burning. Yeah. Like stuff that's gonna take a minute where you're feeling everything. Yeah, I, no. I want to like my sleep, hopefully. Oh yeah. Just go to bed feeling fine. Yep. And not wake up. Yep. That's the way to go. Yep. It, like ninety six. Yeah. Ain't gonna happen. Not gonna make it that far? I don't think so. Shooting for 83. I think you'll do okay. Shooting for 83. You're going to be okay. We'll see. We're headed back to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, which is the one pictured on your screen. October 9th, 1989. This is a boat accident. Oh. Um, A 33-year-old woman was killed when a small speedboat collided with a ferry boat. So if you've never been to Disney, they got... They have the ferry boat. They've got the giant ferry boat that takes people across this. I mean, yep. you can't see in this picture. This is a huge lake. Oh, yeah. From the parking lot over to Magic Kingdom. And then they also have these little things. They used to call them mice, like a go-kart type speedboat. They were just little two-person, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, tiny about, little, yeah. and you'd go zipping. Yeah. All the resorts had them to rent. and you'd. So they were in one of these, and okay. they get hit by the damn ferry boat. That's which, on them. Which is about 800 times the size of the boat they're in. Yeah. Uh, She and her son were broadsided by the ferry while trying to film friends and family members who were water skiing. A crew member and a visitor on the ferry dove into the water and rescued her son, who was not hurt. 
The family sued, claiming that the ferry's operators should have seen the speedbo- speedboat before it came too close. Oh, hey, you, what? Seriously? So here's a better lawsuit for you. The decedent's husband sued Disney for $240 million. That sounds like a that's, better lawsuit, that's a lawsuit out there. Yeah. He said Disney offered, quote, a settlement in the seven figures um, to keep the suit out of court, but he declined it, saying the offer was too low. Okay. Uh, the final result is unknown. He probably think he's <sighs> I, yeah, I don't know. I, I, just, I hope for, I mean, I hate I, that he lost his wife. Yes. But I hope it's not one of those situations where he declined their offer and then ended up not getting anything and having to live with mm. God, if I would have, because he said it was a seven figure. Yeah. So that's a million plus. Mm. Yeah. So hopefully he got something close to that. I'd hate for him to be offered that and say no and then, then be like, well, now you're not yeah. getting yeah. it. And then he loses in court and you got nothing. Then you got to live with yourself like, and you got to pay the court fees. Right. <laughs> yeah, court fees are on you now, bud. Yeah. And, and the like, attorney. Damn it. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. I think, <laughs> I think you take the offer they give you usually. Yeah. Hate to say it. Yeah. Unless he may have had the bad advice True. of a bad attorney the, or something. He may have this attorney. No, don't say that. We're using oh. their article. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, God. Now All we're right. getting sued, Mike. Right. Jesus. I'm sorry. It's okay. Man. <laughs> All right. We're heading to Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort. July 10th of 89, this is a drowning. 13-year-old boy drowned at River Country while swimming with eight classmates and two counselors. Another swimmer felt the youth under his feet in about five wow. feet of water and dragged him out. So it sounds to me like he'd been under for... He'd been under for a minute. If if someone else basically steps on you yeah. to find you. You've been down there for a minute. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's not... That's never good. All right, sticking with Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort, resort in uh, May of 87... A six-year-old boy drowned in a swimming pool. The family later sued, stating that the resort should have had more than one lifeguard on duty to monitor the crowded pool, and that the pool should have had a safety line between the shallow and deep ends. So, you know, normally, like, I'm used to a pool. You got the shallow end, and you got the little rope with all the buoys. Yeah. Apparently, it didn't have that. Anyway, Disney settled it for $250,000. Okay. So, at least family got something. Yeah, they got something. Sticking with Fort Wilderness again. Another drowning, 14-year-old boy drowned at River Country. Um, He was pulled from the water at the River Country Cove about five minutes after he slid down a 60-foot slide into five feet of water. So another one where I think he wasn't noticed at first. Yeah. Um, This one's crazy. I never thought that the parking lot tram, we have a death involving the tram that takes you from your car to the front of the park. One-year-old girl is killed when she falls from the tram in the parking lot. Wow. Uh, there's unknown if there was a lawsuit. Um, yeah, that's basically all we know about that one. Another parent mistake. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's yeah. a one-year-old. I mean, yeah. they weren't walking around on their own, you know? Yeah. Uh, Disney's Fort Wilderness again. Here's an unknown death. 36-year-old woman collapsed and died while walking away from the water flume ride at River Country. She just Just fell. Just fell. Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. I really like You ever stay there? Mm -mm. I like this place. Like, you feel like you're in Hawaii. Okay. It's nice. A two-year-old girl died after being injured outside a park restaurant. She was standing in line with her family outside the Coral Isle Coffee Shop. I've been there. I've had a coffee from there. When she and her 12-year-old sister were playing with a rope tied to a large menu board. The girls pulled on the rope, and the board fell on top of the toddler, killing her. Can you imagine being there with your toddler and the sign topples over? No. Mm. No lawsuit, though. Shouldn't have been. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah, the sad part of it is you're there on a family vacation. You saved all this money up to take your kids there, and and that happens. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Going back to Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort, this is our amig. You're going to have to help me here, Mike. Amoebic meningiosyphilitis. Yes. This is the, the waterborne pathogen that gets in your ear. Yes. Yeah. So a 11-year-old boy died after swimming in the River Country Water Park, which is no longer open, by the way. Oh, really? The cause of death was that word, amoebic 
mm-hmm. um, which is a rare disease caused by a single-celled amoeba, traces of which were found in the water. It yeah. entered through his nose and made its way to his brain. Mm-hmm. So some people may remember this was kind of a big story back. I mean, this is from 1980, but um, River Country is closed now. I don't know if it – I mean, I think it closed pretty shortly after this. Um Maybe part of the reason it closed could be, yeah. But it it was a water park that used na- the natural water. Correct. Like there were slides and stuff like that, but everything ended. The pool was basically a cove of this lake. Like, yes. So whatever's in the water is in the water. It's in the water, yeah. What treated or anything like that? Like most yeah. of your pools. I think they filtered it just to make sure you weren't getting. You know, they didn't want like lake weed and like. Yeah. sticks going in the pumps. True. But as far as like, it's obviously not like chlorinated or anything yeah. that would kill this kind of thing. Crazy though. Hmm. All right. We're moving on to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Oh. Have you been there? I've been there. Uh, I do have to say, not. I don't want to turn this into one big advertisement for Disney, but the new Star Wars Galaxy's Edge there. Yeah. Fantastic. I know. I remember you. I saw your Facebook post. Yeah. I know. I'm kind of a nerd. We know. So speaking of Star Wars, Star Tours, the adventure continues, which oh. is like a simulator. It's been there for a while okay. before the Star Wars land opened, yeah. but it's a, it's a simulator. You ride on a shuttle and there's a screen and it jerks yeah, around yeah, like yeah. you're fine. It's been there forever. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, October of 2016, a 67-year-old man died after exiting the ride. He had a pre-existing heart condition along with other contributing factors. So natural causes, no lawsuit. Probably should not have been on the ride. There's signs, yeah. I think, that warn you out there. I don't think there's an age restriction. No, but I think it's just to let you know that. Oh, yeah, like if you have pre-existing this, yeah, this, this, or yeah, if you're yeah. pregnant or blah, 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 you know, it yeah, says yeah, don't. Yeah. People don't read that stuff, though. I know. Or they think, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. You know? Yeah. I feel like I, at some point, will be one of those people. I'll be people. like that, too, someday. Like, I'll have congenital heart failure going on or something, yeah. and I'll go to Kiggs Island and ride yeah. the biggest, newest roller coaster and be like, eh, not me. Good. All right. Yeah. Uh, our next death occurred at Toy Story Mania. Oh. So this happened in October of 2014. This is another natural causes. 64-year-old woman lost consciousness on the ride and died. The death was not believed to be related to the ride. So Toy Story Mania is like <laughs> you sit in this car. I think there's two rows of four people, and you kind of it's a shooter game. So this car kind of moves around in front of different big screens, mm-hmm. and you, you wear shoot, 3D yeah. glasses, and yeah. you shoot stuff, and it kind of spins a little bit, but it's nothing – thrilling by you know yeah it's made so a two-year-old can ride it and it yeah it's fine you know anyway no lawsuit filed Hmm. indiana jones epic stunt spectacular have you ever seen that show yes i I love that thing just one where the ball got out that's is that the one so it's the accident yeah no it's not okay uh, it's not the ball you see that one yeah jesus oh yeah yeah i think they've had plenty of accidents. Yeah. But here we have a death, and it is a perform in a rehearsal. Oh. A 30 year old performer died after injuring his head while performing a tumbling roll. Hmm. This was in 2009. It was a head injury, no lawsuit filed. Okay. Rockin' Roller Coaster with Aerosmith. Oh, yeah. I love Rockin' Roller yep. Coaster. For those of you who don't know, it's an indoor looping roller coaster. They blast Aerosmith while you're riding it. It's a good time. Yeah. Uh, this is another uh, natural causes undiagnosed pre-existing condition. Now, see this. This I think this sucks. To where you know you're like me. I just sat here and was like, I'm happy that I'm healthy. You know, and yeah. you go ride something and you die, and then they're like, Oh, this guy didn't know that he had. Yeah, but you know, that, unknown. Yeah. You know, yeah. Even worse is this is a 12 year old. Ooh. So this is we have that little girl that died at the water park of a heart condition. This is a 12-year-old boy who's found to be unresponsive after the ride ended. His father administered CPR until paramedics arrived, but he was declared dead on the way to Celebration Hospital. Medical examiner determined that the boy had an undiagnosed congenital heart defect Jeez. that they didn't know about. Mm. See, that's... Ugh. I hate that stuff. All right. You know what time it is? What time is it? You know, oh, hey. It's the Wheel, Wheel of, of death. death. Here we go. I love that voice. It's not yours, is it? Of course that's mine. Whose voice do you think it is? Cheryl's. Or like some AI generated yeah. stuff. Yeah, some yeah, AI. Uh, so who do we have on the line? We have Nate calling in. Uh oh. Uh, so let's get Nate on the line here and play the Wheel of Death. Wheel of Death, here we go. All right. Hello, Nate. How are you doing? 
I'm good. How are you? Hey, man. Thanks for calling in to play the Wheel of Death. Really appreciate it. Hey, what are you calling in from? Uh, from uh, Michigan. Okay. All right. Well, glad to have you on the show. Yeah, yeah. all the way from Michigan. Nice. Yeah. All right. So uh, I know I don't know if you've seen the show before, but this here before you is the Wheel, Wheel of Death. death. Um, obviously there's four spaces that mean instant death for you. Uh, but all the other spaces have cool stuff like merch from us, gift cards to our merch store, free memberships, uh, to buy me a coffee and so on. So whatever you land on, you win. That sound good. Yep. Sounds good to me. All right. Would you like me or Mike to spin the wheel? Uh, I'll have you do it, Andy. Okay. Smart man. <laughs> He's Mike. Every time he has spun it has landed on death. Okay. Every time. Good choice. Andy. Like um, to the point where it looks like it's f-ing rigged. Yeah. All right. All right. Do you want like a light spin? You want me to spin uh, give it, it a, as hard as it can? Yeah, give it a full go. Full go. All right, here we go. Everybody ready? And it goes round and round. Holy shit. Wheel of Death t shirt. You got the Wheel of Death t shirt. T shirt? Hell yeah. 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 You're, yeah. You're, the first. you're the first. Yeah, you are the first winner to win a prize. Yeah. yeah good thing and I didn't you get the Wheel yeah, that's the only way you can get it. It's the only yeah. way you can get that shirt, man. Not available on the merch store. You got to hit the one spot on the wheel that has it. So we'll get a wheel of death shirt headed your way. Does that sound all right? Yeah, I'm a lucky man. Yes, yes, you are. Hell, yes, yes you, are. you are. Yeah, I pick you to spin, though. Am I right? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I would have landed on death. Absolutely, would have yeah. landed on death. He yeah. sucks at this, yeah. and it's spinning a <laughs> wheel. How hard can it be? Yeah. yeah. Well, you never know. Good luck. All right, buddy. Well, thanks right. for calling in. We'll hey, get thanks. that t-shirt on the way to you, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Hey, um, thank you. All thanks right, for have calling. Have a good one. All right, bye-bye. All right, awesome, Nate. Congrats on the Wheel of Death t-shirt. First winner. For Well, you know why? Because you've been spinning it, and you suck at spinning it. And they chose who? They chose me. Yes. And I spun it, and I won him. The Wheel of Death. The oh-so-sought-after Wheel of Death t-shirt. Wheel of Death t-shirt. So he's our first winner. First winner ever. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations, Nate. Yeah. Thanks for calling in and being a guest. Yep. Let's continue on this Disney show. Moving on to Epcot. You like Epcot? Nah. As a kid, no. Right. But as I got older, yeah. But I I mean, it's not really, I mean, I don't think it's all that. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. No, I I know what you're saying. Now, I wish... Okay, and here I'm, I'm going to get from the Disney fans that watch or listen, I'll get hate. But they're kind of transforming Epcot. They're introducing a lot of new rides with characters. Like there's a Guardians of the Galaxy ride. There's a Ratatouille ride. Now Frozen took over the Norway. You know, they're yeah. they're trying to trying aim to, it more yeah. towards kids, which I would have loved as a kid. But now that I'm an adult, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? This is the adult park. Yeah, exactly. Like this is where I'm supposed to come drink around the world. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And, you know, get a beer in every country or whatever. Mm-hmm. This isn't supposed to be where Minnie Mouse is. No. But that's that's the direction. Uh, hate me or love me for saying that. I get I, it. I miss. I get it because I didn't like Epcot as a kid. No. But I like it now as an adult, and I wish it was the same as it was should now. Just, it should just stay. Right. Yeah. Stay the adult portion the adult of the park. park. So Spaceship Earth, which is the, the golf yeah. ball. Big golf ball. Uh, if you don't know, there's a ride inside that. Yes, there is. And it's not very thrilling. It's a slow-moving dark ride through the history of communication. Yeah. And yeah, that uh, is not exciting. I like it, though. See, I'm into... Here's what I'm into. I mean, I like thrill rides. Don't get me wrong. I like a good coaster. Mm-hmm. But the reason I go to, like, Disney or Universal is I like the heavily themed. Like, I like that you go through there, and it's like you're, you know, in Rome. And they've got... They're pumping in the smell of, yeah, like, yeah, fire yeah, burning yeah, yeah. and, like, the animatronic. Like, all that stuff's very cool to me, probably because yeah. I'm a big dork yeah hence why one of our levels is called dork pants yeah that's me that's you um but yeah i like this ride okay so this is a natural causes of course i don't see anybody anything happening yeah i can't see too ride. much happening on this thing but may 30th of 21 58 year old man with a pre-existing heart condition passed out and later died after exiting the attraction he probably had too many beers it was yeah maybe he did the around the world thing yeah well, maybe he just stopped at germany <laughs> I wish I would have stopped at Germany. Yeah, I'll tell sure. you that. I'm surprised I didn't get in more trouble that day or night. Um, obviously, ruled natural causes, no lawsuit. Okay. Another incident at Spaceship Earth. This is oh. also from 2021. Wow. Oh. 66-year-old male guest experienced medical issues near Spaceship near Spaceship near Earth. Near Spaceship. 
and was later pronounced dead at the hospital. According to the medical examiner's office, he died of natural causes stemming from heart problems. Hmm. So again, natural heart. causes, no lawsuit. Yep. Heart problems are getting to be the big deal. Yeah. Here's an interesting one. Uh, a runner died while participating in Disney's Wine and Dine Weekend 5K race. I was going to say, I'm glad you got to that point because I was like, why the hell would you be running in the park? Well, yeah, I think that's against the rules. Yeah. You know, like, stop running. I mean, because like, you know, we went to Disney. When we took the kids, I just had knee surgery. Mm. But when we scheduled the vacation, I didn't need knee surgery. <laughs> so we go and I needed a wheelchair. Ooh. So we tried to get the kind that I ride, battery powered, yeah. and there was none. We even got there early thinking, yeah, we're early, we'll be able to get one. No. No. You got to re reserve that shit months in advance, I think. So we got our standard wheelchair, and uh. we were put on a list. So Amy and the boys, they get on the boat, they go over to Huck Finn Island, and I stayed on the other side. And sure enough, as they're halfway across, my phone goes off. Oh, of course. So you're stuck. You can't get back to and they And they said they would only hold it for like 30 minutes. Right. So I call Amy as she's getting off. I'm like, get back on it and come back over and let's go get my wheelchair. Yeah. And uh, yeah, she dumped me on Main Street. And uh, <laughs> there's a lot of things that came out of my mouth. that was nothing Disney related. It was not Disney like. No. <laughs> I we, can only but imagine. We made it. We got it. Oh, well, that's good. It was good. And then when we got it, you know, it was the best thing about it. What's that? It was self-propelled. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We no. already got into the lines. You, know, you got to make your way up to the front with a wheelchair. Oh, yeah. That was nice. Yeah, you get kind of the pass. To, yeah. 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 And it, my point, though, being at least you needed it. Yeah, I did. There are plenty of people, I think, that rent those things. I'm sure they are. don't need it. it they're it, just trying to skip the lines. It's like going to the grocery. I feel like I kind of need one, but yet this kid that's in high school uh, is riding it around with his grandma. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I hate seeing that. Yeah. All right, here's another one from Epcot. A worker died Ooh. in an industrial accident behind the France Pavilion. Ooh. It's believed that he fell from the roof of a cherry, the roof or a cherry picker. Cherry picker. Where the upcoming attraction Remy's Ratatouille Adventure was being developed, Sweet. which is a pretty big building. I've I've been on that ride since the oh, because this just happened in 2019. Um, it's a tall. Those show buildings yeah. are big buildings. He probably didn't strapped in properly. Something, but no lawsuit filed. Yeah. Another death at Epcot. Person was found dead inside of a burning car. So this is not at Epcot. This is a near Epcot. Parking lot. So, well, um, Disney's Fantasia Gardens Mini Golf. Have you seen that place? Yeah. It's kind of close to Epcot. Um, no other information was released. Hmm. Don't know what's going on. Don't know. I don't think there's a lawsuit. That happened in 2018. Here's another one attributed to Epcot. It's a natural causes. Um, another runner dies during the Disney Wine and Dine Half Marathon. Collapsed near the finish line. In the Epcot parking lot. No lawsuit, natural causes. How long does that run? It's a 5K. Oh, three miles. Okay. Yeah. Um, here's the thing, though, I've heard, though. I don't know about the this dine and wine one. There's another 5K that happens where you get to run backstage, like the Magic Kingdom. Oh, okay. So there, I think what happens is you have a lot of people that aren't runners. Yeah. That are more Disney yeah. fans yeah. that sign up just because they want to see the, yeah. the backstage areas. Everybody wants to see the backstage. And then it's they find themselves in some trouble. I Everybody think. wants to go down the rabbit hole and see what's down there. Oh, yeah. See how what makes it tick. Yeah. I get it. It's like a whole other city, they say. Yeah. Hmm. Mission Space. You ever been on Mission Space at yes. Epcot? Yep. I love it. It doesn't make me sick or anything, but I understand yeah. what, what's happening here. Um, so we have another Natural Causes from pre-existing conditions. A 49-year-old woman fell ill after riding Mission Space and died at Celebration Hospital. An autopsy determined that she died from a brain hemorrhage caused by long-standing by long-standing and severe high blood pressure. Oh, Jesus. So, for those of you that don't know, Mission Space simulates basically blasting off in yeah. like a NASA rocket, and what it is is it's a centrifuge. So you sit in this little capsule, which is like the cockpit of a space shuttle, and you look at a screen but what you don't realize is you're spinning very, very, very fast to give that, you know, to make G effect. that like, yeah, and your face is like literally your yeah. face does that yeah. in it. Um, simulate the effect of G, the G force. Yeah. 
Uh, very, very, I remember watching something where I can't remember what astronaut it was, you know, opening day for this, they had somebody. Oh yeah. Buzz Aldrin. I don't know who, I don't know if that was Buzz, but somebody. Probably the old guy's back. Yeah. Came out and wrote it, you know, as an inaugural it's open. And he said the most confusing thing I've ever heard someone say that the ride felt more real than actually taking off oh. in the space shuttle. So it's very. I mean, I've never been in the space shuttle, no, I but either. I can imagine that what you experience. I mean, you experience very intense G forces oh, yeah. on that. So I can understand all these people that, you know, yeah. have issues. Because here we have another one, two thousand five, natural causes from an undiagnosed pre-existing condition. Another kid. What are with these undiagnosed pre-existing? Yeah, I don't kids. Care. A lot of kids. Um, Four-year-old boy died after exiting the ride. An autopsy found that the boy died as a result um, of an existing undiagnosed heart condition called myocardial hypo, hypotrophy, hyp, hypopertrophy. God, that's why I'm not a doctor. Yeah, yeah. Um, on June 12, 2006, his parents filed a lawsuit against Disney, claiming that Disney should have never allowed a four-year-old on the ride due to the ride's height restriction um, of over 44 inches and did not offer an adequate medical response after he collapsed and later died. Um, Disney did not at the time keep a defibrillator near mission space, uh, which is arguably the park's most intense ride. Yeah. Uh, Disney settled out of court for this one for an undisclosed amount. And there's a defibrillator there, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure there's probably a handful of them yeah. all around there. Yeah. Well, I don't know. They don't like to listen to OSHA, apparently. They're probably, maybe True, there's not. I don't know. Yeah. You know. I think once you hit them in the pocketbooks hard enough, you yeah. know, the little $12,000 from OSHA, yeah. who gives a but if you, who knows what the settlement was, but if it's in the millions, I could see that being like, all right, we need to buy a couple yeah. and defibrillators and break down about him. You know, let's not be Yeah. Uh, Body Wars. Do you remember Body Wars at Epcot? Oh my God. This is, oh, it's been closed. That whole pavilion, like the health pavilion has been closed forever. Wow. But it's an it's a simulator and it's simulated, you know, you got in this shuttle and you were supposedly shrunk down to the size of a blood cell and then yep. injected into a body, body. and you got to it was, it was cool. Yeah. I liked it. It was neat. A uh, four year old girl with a known heart condition passed out during a ride uh, in the Wonders of Life Pavilion. The ride was immediately stopped and paramedics airlifted her to Orlando Regional Medical Center where she was pronounced dead. Ruled it natural causes from pre existing condition and there was no lawsuit filed. So again, I hate to, you know, we say we, we're not going to make fun of victims or victims' families, but Correct. I just have to, when it's a four year old girl with a known heart condition, mm -hmm. like, I just wish I could talk to these people and why are you putting your child on a ride that I know that this had to have had warnings and oh yeah, you would, yeah. everything else like, and, and probably why no lawsuit was filed. There's no grounds for one. You know, mm -hmm. you put your four year old on this ride. Yeah. You're at fault. You knew she had these uh, conditions. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. Sticking with Epcot. Here's your plane accident. Oh, a uh, 27 year old cast member was killed when the ultralight plane he was flying crashed during a show rehearsal. He was oh, okay. practicing for Epcot's Sky Lightoscope show at an altitude of 500 to 1,000 feet when the ultralight suffered catastrophic structure failure, nosediving into the ground about 150 yards from Disney's airfield and 1.5 miles from Epcot. So I've seen this. They used to do it. You know what an ultra glide yeah, is, right? Yeah, it's yeah. like the little one person yeah. kind of big fan on the back. Mm -hmm. The Disney, you know, they'd come fly and it'd be Mickey and Goofy. We were flying these things. And this poor 27-year-old dude, the f***ing wing broke off of it, and he just fell to his death. Jesus. I want to know what character. I'm sure I could have looked that up. Goofy. But luckily, I don't think it was right. I mean, it obviously wasn't. He was a mile and a half from Epcot. So it's not like he crashed in the middle of the park and a bunch of kids had yeah, to watch yeah, that. that's good. But still, it's like, damn. Yeah. Um, here's a Epcot parking lot incident. This is very interesting. The bodies of a 33-year-old man and woman were found in a retention pond after they drove their car down an embankment and into the water during a heavy rainstorm several days earlier. Authorities speculate that the two attempted to escape from the vehicle through the driver's side window as it sank into the six-foot deep water but could not escape. So their deaths are ruled a drowning. No lawsuit filed. I get it. Florida gets some crazy monsoon it rain. If it's raining like that, rain. I can see going off the road, and yeah. before you know it, you're in a f***ing retention pond. Yeah, I get I, it. I've, I've gotten off the highway because it's, it can get intense on the highway. Oh, yeah, and you don't want to stop yeah. on the highway. It's like, yeah. let's get to the next exit and yeah. 
Hey, there's rest area. That looks like a good spot to go. Exactly. Exactly. Um, here's another parking lot incident at Epcot. A couple and their one-year-old daughter were killed when the single-engine plane they were flying, another plane, okay, crashed while attempting an emergency landing in the Epcot parking lot. Oh my god! Which makes sense if you're going down. That's a big. Those parking lots it, are yeah, it huge. Is. I mean, it's a good place to try and land a plane if you needed to. The aircraft was approaching an empty section of the parking lot when it clipped a light pole, shearing off the right wing and crashing into several parked cars. Wow. The family was flying from South Carolina to Florida for a Disney World vacation. Uh, Unknown if there was a lawsuit. That was back in 1984, by the way, if I didn't say it. All right, let's go to the big kahuna. Magic Kingdom. Oh, Lord. Some crazy stuff has happened there. You ever stayed in the castle? No. I wish. I wish. I kind of wish. You you can do it, can't you? Yeah, they have a room. Yeah. You know, I think if they... I don't think anybody can book. I think it's like they do make a wish uses oh, is it. Oh, that what it is? Okay. It's like a special. I don't think anybody can book it. It's given away for promotions or used for make a wish. But yeah, there's a there's a YouTube videos like of a tour. It's mm-hmm. f-ing cool. And I just can't imagine like you could wake up at two in the morning and like you're in the middle of Magic Kingdom. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah. All right, Walt Disney World Speedway. My picture that's up there. Yeah. Now that's, you see why yeah. I have the face. Here's your photo. So 2015 vehicle accident. 36-year-old driving instructor. Oh, hang on. Let's back this up. Walt Disney World Speedway is not what we're thinking. Oh, okay. Walt Disney World in the parking lot has an actual like NASCAR Speedway. Oh, okay. I was thinking this is the Tomorrowland oh, thing okay. with the go-karts. Right, 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 yeah. um, but they have exotic driving experiences there where you can get in a NASCAR or okay. other. You know, I think there's times where you can get a Ferrari or whatever and you know pay to have a driver take you around, train you how to drive or whatever. Okay. So that's what we're talking about. 36-year-old instructor was killed. Um, the instructor was riding in the passenger seat of a Lamborghini. Um, I'm going to sound so – I don't know my – I'm sorry. I'm not a car guy. I, I'm not. Uh, Lamborghini Gallardo LP574 Super Ligera. Okay. Nice ass. Yeah. There's a reason I don't know what this car is. It's because I'm never going to afford, afford it. it. Yeah. Exactly. Why was he in the passenger seat if he's the instructor? Well, because the whole point of this is you get to drive the race car around the track. Oh, so he was right with somebody he just showed how to drive fast. Right. So he doesn't know how to drive fast. Right. So he's riding shotgun, giving them, to, okay, you need to take this turn. You know, he's guiding them through it, supposedly. So the driver lost control and crashed into a metal guardrail. The Florida Highway Patrol investigated and announced that while the decision to run vehicles clockwise instead of counterclockwise may have been a factor in the incident, it was ruled an accident. No charges were filed against the driver. Also, no lawsuit was filed. Wow. I get it, though. Running clockwise, yeah. you, you always want to run counter because then the driver is on the inside of the Correct. turns. That's the whole point. When you're going the other way, it's harder to – I get it. Harder to steer. So I don't know why they were doing that, but that's what we're working with hmm. here. Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover. Oh. Do you know what that is? Yeah. It's, that, yeah. that little mini monorail thing that goes yeah. around Tomorrowland? So in 2022, an 83-year-old man likely suffered a heart attack while on the ride. CPR was done on the victim, but he died once at the hospital. The victim had pre-existing conditions and a pacemaker. No lawsuit filed natural causes. Prince Charming Regal Carousel. Yes, there has been a death on the carousel. Oh, my God, really? In 2010. Natural causes, again, pre-existing condition. 77-year-old woman with pre-existing conditions collapsed after exiting the ride. She later died due to the incident. I get it. Being older, I get dizzy now at my age yeah, on a carousel. I, I, I get stuff, yeah, stuff that spins. I get it. Spins, bright lights, whatever, yeah. Yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean. No way. And this isn't a natural. Happened in 2009. Caused a deaf head, spinal injury. Holy sh**. 47-year-old employee playing the role of a pirate in the Captain Jack's Pirate Tutorial show accidentally slipped on a puddle on the stage and hit his head on a wall. Mm. According to notes from OSHA, the victim's fall was the result of receiving a small kick to his behind. So basically in the show, it's pirates. You know, we've all seen kind of a pirate. They're goofing around, bends over. The other pirate kind of kicks him in the butt, whatever. Well, this time he slips on a puddle and he falls. He's taken to an area hospital with injuries that include broken vertebrae, 
to, in his neck, cervical spine fracture, and several lacerations to his head. I mean, he hit this thing hard. He died four days later uh, of a bilateral pulmonary th- thromboli. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. My apologies again. Yeah. Due to complications of immobilization for the cervical spine fracture. Oh, yeah. So that's intense. Yeah. I mean, you're just doing this goofy show and it f- kills you. No lawsuit filed. Pirates of the Caribbean again in 2005. A 77-year-old woman lost consciousness and died after riding Pirates of the Caribbean. Medical examiner's report said the victim was in poor health and she had uh, several mini strokes. No she shouldn't have been in the park. <laughs> right, and that's and that's what I wonder too. Like when you see these 70, 80-year-olds with pre-existing conditions, like it's hot. It's it can be miserable even for it, someone it can, young. But like. Humidity and the heat and everything. But, you know, they're on that ride their grandkid. True. They, you know, don't want to miss the yeah, memories. Yeah, you don't want to miss the... All right. Uh, OSHA. Old OSHA. Um, find the entertainment giant, $6,300, and issued a serious citation for having employees in restricted areas. When a 38-year-old cast member dressed as Pluto died at the Magic Kingdom... When he was run over by the Beauty and the Beast float in the Share a Dream Parade. Do you remember this? No. Um, I guess it happened backstage, so no one really witnessed this. But literally a damn float rolled over Pluto and killed him. Aww. Um, Yeah. And that's OSHA, $6,300. He's such a good dog, too. He is. Um, we have a catch pool incident. 31 year old woman tripped and fractured her ankle on stairs leading to a catch pool. She died of pulmonary embolism the following month. Um, no lawsuit that happened in 2003 splash mountain magic kingdom in 2000. We got a blunt force trauma death. 37 year old man was fatally injured while trying to exit the ride vehicle while it was moving. Well, I know. Common sense. He told fellow passengers that he felt ill and attempted to reach one of the attraction's emergency exits. He was struck by the following ride vehicle and died. No lawsuit, I hope. No lawsuit. Thank God. No. Never know. You're right. The Skyway. You remember the Skyway? Like the... Yeah. Everyone calls them what? The buckets? Mm-hmm. That you, which aren't there anymore. They're gone. Yep. A uh, 65-year-old custodian was killed while cleaning the Fantasyland Skyway station platform. The ride was turned on by staff who were likely unaware that he was there, and he fell off uh, off the platform. He was in the path of the ride vehicles and tried to grab a passing seat, but lost his grip and fell 40 feet. The Skyway ride, which has, uh, had been scheduled to be closed before the accident occurred, was permanently closed November 10th, 1999. Yeah. This happened February 14, 1999. You ever read it? I wrote it. I wrote it, yeah. yeah. I have pictures, I think. With yeah. Me. Yeah, definitely. Uh, OSHA fined Disney World $4,500 for violating federal course, safety yeah. codes. Yeah. Main Street, USA. We have a drowning. A four-year-old boy drowned in the moat surrounding Cinderella Castle. Really? I didn't know about this incident until I read this article, but yeah, there's a. you can't oh. see it from this angle, but... There's a moat around the bottom of that castle there, if you're watching this. And a four-year-old oh. boy drowned in that moat. How the hell did he get in it? Uh, he had to have climbed a fence. I mean, you can see how yeah. fenced off I mean, all this stuff is. Yeah. Um, the family sued Disney for $4 million and won. However, the jury found the parents 50% liable. Fair. Rightfully so. Fair. For allowing the boy to climb over a fence and reduce the settlement to $2 million. That's fair. Yeah, I get that. Yep. That's 1977, though. Wow. So $2 million in 1977. That's nice money. Yeah. But you're not doing it for the money. No, I'm not saying they were. I know. But I'm, I'm saying, just saying, like, when we say now, like, yeah. they won $2 million, some people might think that no. doesn't seem like much for losing your child. No. But I'm just saying in, like, today's money, two, three times that. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, not that it makes it any better. You know what I'm trying to know. I'm trying to say. I'm I was just trying to clarify. Yeah. Um, we have an explosion death at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, a carpenter died in a mini explosion caused by glue at a construction area in the park. Yeah. 
That's yeah. a pretty bad way to go. Yeah. Uh, in 1976, the widow of the carpenter filed a suit against 3M and the Travelers Indemnity, Indemnity Company. I do not know the outcome of that lawsuit. She probably got something. Probably. It's a small world, Mike. There has been a death on It's a Small World, <laughs> believe it or not. How? It's another pre-existing okay. natural causes. It happened in 2014. 22-year-old woman lost consciousness after riding the attraction. 22? 22. Wow. And later died. The woman had a pre-existing condition, so no lawsuit. It was ruled natural causes. Space Mountain deaths. I can see this. Now, I kind of nailed, like, I was thinking as I did each park, like, okay, Magic Kingdom. What's going to happen? It's got to be one of the, either Space Mountain, Big Thunder, Splash, you know, some of the bigger moving stuff. Yeah. Well, Space Mountain is it. In 2015, a 55-year-old woman died of a cardiopulmonary arrest and septic shock at Florida Hospital Celebration after losing consciousness while on the ride. According to the medical examiner, her medical history showed a history of hypertension and congestive heart failure. So this was ruled natural causes. There she was shouldn't no. have been on that ride. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got another natural, Space Mountain, 73-year-old man. 73-year-old gets on yeah. Space Mountain. Yeah. Uh, he loses consciousness while riding. He was transported to a hospital, died three days later. Medical examiner found that the man died of natural causes due to heart condition. So no lawsuit filed yeah. there. Space Mountain, natural causes. This one, cancer, though. Interesting. Cancer. Six-year-old boy fainted. Six-year-old boy fainted after riding Space Mountain and was taken to Celebration Hospital where he died. The victim was a terminal cancer patient visiting the park as part of the Give Kids the World program. Mm. So Give Kids the World, for people that aren't, it's a lot like, um, what's make, one? Make-A-Wish. Make-A-Wish, yeah. yeah. It's, um, but anyway, um, so he's there on this like basically kind of like gifted vacation. Uh, he dies of natural causes due to a metastatic pulmonary blastoma tumor. Wow. Yeah. Must have been a little bit. More regressive than they thought. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then we have another pre-existing condition, 10-year-old girl. 10 years old. All these young yeah. kids, man. Uh, she becomes ill while riding Space Mountain. She later died of a pre-existing heart condition from lack of oxygen. No lawsuit filed on that one. Big Thunder Mountain. There's some more on Big Thunder. Here we go. This happened 2017. Another pre-existing condition, though. 54-year-old man died after riding the attraction. Orange County Medical Examiner's Office stated that, quote, the death did not appear to be one of um, the examiner's cases, so the man likely had an attending physician who agreed to sign out the death certificate due to natural causes. Okay. So it's one of those that didn't go to the medical examiner. Yeah, kind of like my one dad passed, I get it, yeah. Yeah, so no lawsuit filed there. Now, let's get to the big one here. Um, do you remember seeing this? Oh, yeah. Those are two of Disney World's monorails. Yep. Monorail pink and purple. So this is July 5th of 2009. During a failed track switchover from the Epcot line onto the Magic Kingdom Express line, monorail pink backed into monorail purple, killing monorail purple's 21-year-old pilot. OSHA and park officials inspected the monorail line, and it reopened the next day after new sensors and operating procedures were put in place. So an investigation by the NTSB, National Transportation Safety Board, showed no mechanical problems with the trains or track, but did find that the track used in the switchover was not in its proper place for the track transition. The NTSB also noted that Purple's pilot attempted to reverse his train when he saw there was going to be a condition, uh, collision. So that, I think, is what's crazy. Like, this kid saw it coming and was trying to back trying out to of there. get away from it, yeah. And he still ends up um, getting yep. killed. Disney placed three monorail employees on paid administrative leave as a result of this incident. On October 31st, 2011, the NTSB issued its findings on the incident, citing the probable cause as the shop panel operator's failure to properly align the switch beam before the monorail train was directed to reverse throw it, through it. As a result of this incident, cab riding for guests was discontinued. So you used to be able to ride in that front nose mm -hmm. portion after this. Good. No okay. guests. I get it. Um, also, a supervisor at a restaurant off campus was directing the trains at the time. And this is oh obviously no longer allowed yeah. either. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, Disney settled for an undisclosed amount with the victim's mother. 
OSHA ruled the crash preventable and proposed $44,000 worth of fines against Disney, including a $7,000 citation for the crash, $2,000 fine for maintenance issues, and $35,000 for repeat violations. OSHA later reduced some of these fines in a settlement agreement. So this is what pisses me off. Like, 44000 and Disney fights it and was like, can we settle for less? Yeah. Like, it's 44000 You got a guy die, dude. Come uh, on. Yeah. Um, anyway, so OSHA later, OSHA later reduced some of these fines. Um, one went from 25000 to 19000 Okay. And another from 10000 to uh, 7100 bringing the total to 35200 is what OSHA ended up finding Disney for this. I mean, that's just a gnarly. And, and I would implore, if anybody's... I mean, interested. There's a video of not the actual crash, but the immediate aftermath. You know, someone yeah. pulled out their phone as soon as the crash happened, which I think this might actually be a screen grab from that, but of them trying to get this kid out. It's horrific. I just can't imagine. I can't imagine being there with kids yeah. <laughs> waiting on the monorail, yeah. and this happened as you're standing on the platform, you know, yep. waiting. Wow. Yeah. Crazy incident. All right, last but not least, we're going to go back to Walt and Mickey here to talk about the suicides real quick. There have been four reported suicides at Disney World in Orlando. Um, One was at the Contemporary Resort. Deputies from the Orange County Sheriff's Office responded to the resort at 4 p.m. on March 4th, 2020, after receiving a call that a woman may have jumped off the building. Upon arrival, they found an unresponsive woman who was later pronounced dead. So we have a jumper off the Contemporary. Another incident at the Contemporary Resort. Uh, Monorail service was temporarily suspended while the Orange County Sheriff's Office investigated a potential suicide. According to some sources, the person jumped to their death inside the central A-frame tower. Ooh. So it's kind of that A, you know. Oh, yeah. Looks like this, and the monorail goes through it, and there's all balconies in there. Yeah. Someone jumped off that on the end, so some people had to witness that, I'm sure. That happened in March of 2016. Um. This one, I don't understand. I don't, I mean, I get it's on Disney property, but it's not Disney owned, like the Doubletree Resort. Okay. They're counting this. Because it's technically, yeah. A dead body was discovered at the hotel. The manner of death was originally unknown, but was later ruled a suicide. That was in 2010. And at Epcot, Epcot now, the park in 1992, 37 year old man entered Epcot after closing and pointed a shotgun at three security guards. Oh. Demanding to see his ex-girlfriend who worked there. So we got a little kind of domestic issue going on. He fired four blasts at the guards from his shotgun and took two guards hostage uh, in a restroom near the Journey to Imagination Pavilion. Which is like, this is so surreal to me. Like, I can just imagine like the music playing, you know, for imagination. And he's got these people hostage with a shotgun in there. Uh, when Orange County Sheriff's deputies surrounded the area, the shooter released his hostages and emerged with a shotgun held to his chest. After exchanging words with deputies, he put the gun to his head and fired. Investigators attributed his actions to a recent breakup with his long-term girlfriend. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't either. I, don't, I would I mean, never shoot myself over a person. Yeah, over a over a relationship yeah, like that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, we made it through that one. Wow. We did. It's kind of amazing, though. What is? Just, yeah, I mean, most of it's all natural causes, you know, nothing really gripping and, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple that were probably pretty gruesome to be a witness to, but I expected way more of that than just a lot of heart attacks and stuff like that. But the thing that strikes me the, the most is the amount of kids that have congenital problems. Oh, yeah, like all the unknown pre-existing... Yeah, or the one that they knew about it. That See, that one almost pisses me off. Yeah. The four-year-old that had, they knew had yeah. a heart condition, and let's put them on a thrill ride. That yeah. I don't understand that. I don't either. I don't know. This one's kind of hard to... Yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know. It's different. Yeah. I would expect more domestics, too. Yeah, well, like that last suicide, more stuff like that at the resorts yeah. where it's a, you know, domestic turns into either a suicide or a murder suicide yeah, or a murder. Because I get it. I mean, shh, I've been there. I know how it is. You know, <laughs> You're carrying two kids throughout the park. You got three kids. Oh, yeah. yeah You're hot and sweaty hot from the sweaty, humidity. It's yeah. 90. The yeah. humidity is 99.9%. Yeah, my knee from my knee surgery is driving me nuts. Yeah. Yeah. 
I need some more hydrocodone. Like the inside of your nostrils are sweating. Yeah, I need some Vicodin and my beer. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and you're not getting any of it, and your wife's on your nerves. Yeah. 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 Mm. Well, if you enjoyed that episode uh, and you'd like to support the show, we want to shout out uh, to buymeacoffee.com slash two murder morons. Um, there you can simply buy Mike and I a cup of coffee, or you can sign up to be a member for exclusive benefits, including bonus episodes. Head to buymeacoffee.com slash two more. I did it again. You did it again. Two, it's not two mortar morons. No. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Head to buy me a co- and I'm reading it too. Yeah, you would think yeah, as I'm you reading. Think. Buymeacoffee.com slash two murder morons to learn more. If you're a Spotify user, you can also subscribe to us there to get access to the bonus episodes. And don't forget merch store. Merch store. Uh, you know, if you're not into the whole bullshit about paying monthly for a membership, you know, if yep. we're not that good, yeah. I I can I can see some people being like, you know, I enjoyed it. I'll listen to them again, laughed at them. I'm not paying these three dollars a month. Yeah, like they're not worth that. I see that. But you at least buy a hat. Yeah, you could yeah, buy a hat like Mike's, a shirt. Mike's wearing, or or uh, you know, we got hoodies, we got shirts, yeah. all kinds of good stuff. So that's two murder morons dot com. Two murder morons. Uh, that's our website. You can find our merch store there, or if you're watching mm. this, you can scan the QR code on your screen. Good old QR codes. Good old <laughs> Mike's a big fan <laughs> of the QR codes. <laughs> So uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you yeah. next Wednesday with another new episode. Stay tuned. We've got some more good stuff coming. Yep. All right, guys. Hey, thanks. Thanks. Bye.